Yeah, I'm not sure I want to go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we have the Leipzig, uh, the find the tangent plane to the elliptic parboloid parboloid should say z equals 2x squared plus y squared at Um, one, one, and three. Okay. Then sketch the surface and the tangent plane. I think I, the latter is the uh, the challenge. So really, that's the reason. Uh, why I'm doing this particular example because as far as finding the tangent plane um, Adam already um, Demonstrated so we let a equals 1 and B equals 1 okay, and uh, an F of 1 1 of course is Z so uh, 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3 like so and now the partial derivative del f del x, so f of x y equals two x squared plus y squared. That will be the surface. The left del x will be simply four x, and therefore the left del x at one one equals four. The f del y equals two y, and del f del y at 1, 1 equals 2. So, uh, we're going to say that um, <clears throat> the, uh, the plane is z equals 3, okay, uh, plus the partial derivative um, at the 1, 1 is 4 times x minus 1 plus 2 times y minus 1. And once we all clear the parentheses and work it out, then we'll have 3 plus 4x minus 4 plus 2y minus 2, or simply 4x plus 2y. We have 3, negative 1, negative 2, so it's total negative 3. So this is the surface. I'm sorry. This is the tangent plane. The surface is right here, or right here. So let's let's try to sketch this. Uh, and as I said, this is really the toughest part. So <clears throat> so we are told that um, well, we know that the surface is an elliptic parabolaid. So, uh, and we look at it, and let's, what, let, if we let y equal 0, then z equals 2x squared. Now, 2x squared is a parabola that is a little narrower. It's a narrower than z equals x squared, right? So, for instance, when x equals 1, z equals 2 uh, instead of 1, and so on. So, without going into too many details, it's going to look like that. On the other hand, if we let x equals 0, we have z equals y squared. Well, that's a little bit wider parabola, like so. So I'm going to look at the top, and I know that this is an ellipse, because uh, 2x squared plus y squared equal a certain value of z is an ellipse. So on top, we have the ellipse okay, with the longer the major axis parallel to the y-axis and the minor axis parallel to the x-axis, like so. Okay. Now, when you're looking at 1, 1, okay, this is the point 1, 1, and 0. And if you climb on top, 
then somewhere here you'll have the projection and you have the actual point. I mean, this is the project, projection on the XY plane, but this is the actual point 1, 1, and 3. So this is pretty much uh, the elliptic paraboloid. So let's give it a little curvature here. So this is our surface. Z equals 2x squared plus y squared. Okay? Now let's change color and let's look at the tangent. The way to, uh, to draw a tangent, if you remember, or to draw a plane, is look at the intersect. So we let first both x and y equal 0. Well, then we have z equals negative 3. So uh, if we drop down right here, this point will be 0, 0, 3. Right? When x equals 0, then 2y and z equals 0, then the intercept on the y-axis will be 2y minus 3 equals 0. y equals 3 over 2, over 2 or 1 and a half. So another point is right here, 0, uh, 3 halves, and 0. And when y and z equals 0, the x-intercept will be 4x minus 3 equals 0, or x equals 3, 4. So it's about right here. Uh, we'll have this x-intercept, so it would be 3 fourth, 0, 0. And so we have three intersect, and we also, we know that we have a tangent right here at this point. So what I'll do, I'll draw something like that, um, try to do, to draw, hmm, not the easiest thing to do, but it's going to look like this. We're going to have to go through these points, like so. And of course, we, the tangent plane is right here, so. Uh, and this is z equals uh, 4x plus 2y minus 3. Actually, I didn't write it in the right place. 4x plus 2y minus 3 is this tangent plane. Yes, somebody start asking. No, no, it's not. This is, this is the plane. I just picked up intersect on the axis. I picked up the x and y and z intersect. Connect them. When you connect x and y and z intersect, you have a kind of a triangle, but it's also, we know that we go through the point 1, 1, and 3. So I kind of extended it a little bit. Do you, that's answer your question really, or do you have a follow-up question? That's fine. Okay, Jake, you have a question. No, no question. Anybody else has a question? Okay, good, because if I'm not sure I can answer more questions. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how much good this sketch does, but hopefully uh, it gives an idea about how to sketch. Uh, still, Adam, Adam's sketch was much better although it serves a different purpose. <laughs>